interest, and especially when you don't pay it on time, it gets don't out of control. Don't charge the small Here's a little example for us. Come back here. This is going to change people's lives quite a bit. Come on, Max. So, yeah, this can get a little bit complicated with all of the Way numbers and all the math. So let's just make a little free. example of a $10 pair of socks. Okay, this is what I found in some of your statements. A $10 pair of socks at a popular department store with all of the interest and all of the late fees. That $10 pair of socks, if you're not paying it off in one month, will cost you $17. And if this continues to happen, this problem spirals out of control to $104 after just six months. We're talking about one of these <laughs> little pair of socks here. And that $10 after one year with the late fees and the interest charges can cost you $333. And get this, I know some of your bills are three years old. After three years, that $10 pair of socks will cost you $1,610. That is crazy. Andy. And 76 cents. And 76 cents. And that's, I, mean, I, I never thought about it that way, but $10 after three years cost you $1,600. And a lot of other people make the exact same mistake. I make that mistake. What do you think about that? That's a lot of socks. That's a lot of socks. <laughs> you know, at the end of three years. All right, so that's one little easy thing. And these are the kinds of ideas, it's emblematic uh, of some of the mistakes we make. Step two is to embrace the new LBD. So if you don't mind, walk us through, Nicole, yes. why I think it's such an important. This is called the Little Budget Diary. Not, not what the you little think black it, dress. Yeah, not the little black dress. I don't have one of those. But I do have a Little Budget Diary. And this one looks good on everyone, including you, Dr. Oz. Thank so you. This is about creating a sustainable plan for yourself. What you plan to spend, Sandy, on the basics, groceries, gas, dry cleaning, every single week. Write down on a piece of paper, throw it in your purse. What do you plan to spend versus what did you actually spend? And then are you over or under? Keeping track will keep you on budget. Come on over here, because that brings us to step three, which is to prioritize to pulverize your debt. You can't pay everything off at once. I gather you can't, right? Because $15,000 is a big nut to crack. Yes. So if you can't pay it off at once, we have to have a strategy to do it in a smart way so you don't get caught in that that oh, penalty really. scheme that we saw earlier with the socks. So what's the Probably first thing to pay off? Actually, you can ask this question. They're dead too. off right well, away. Now, Sandy. Yes, Sandy, so what do you think? If you have $100 mm -hmm. and learned, you can pay off one bill, what would it be first? It would be a credit card bill. That's right, look at her. She's on you. Would you all said that? Would the audience have said that? Most of them? Right. You know, I'm going to put these in order, so credit cards go first. Credit cards go first because with the interest rate, it goes out of control really quickly like From we like saw with the socks 15 example. 15% to 25% okay. interest. is a car loan. If you have a car loan, you can't afford to be without a car. You need a car to get to work, you need a car to make money, and a car is worth less every single day, so you want to pay that off. Next, student loans is the next thing you want to tackle. And then also, finally your mortgage. It's the lowest interest rate and you also get tax breaks for it. All right, and the last issue is the one we start off with, this issue of fun money. And this is the part of the plan that's different from any other plan that I've ever offered on the show. Nicole, explain why this is such a big passion of yours. So 15% is the magic number. This is the extras that you're gonna allow yourself every single month. This is the little Hershey's Kiss equivalent in a regular diet that will keep you from binging on a big old hunk of chocolate cake in the middle of the night. We've all been there. <laughs> so it keeps you on track, it keeps you happy, it doesn't depress your mood. Do you think you can do that? I'm ready. How's your life gonna be different if you can really make a big impact on that debt you fence right now? If those bill collectors weren't calling you 10 times a day, but maybe calling you twice. I wouldn't be as stressed out as I am. I'll be able to sleep again. Be able to live again. And live, yes. Yeah. So Nicole's got lots of different things she wants to give you. She's going to help you out with this. But you got your good friend over there, Tara. Do. What do you think about this, Tara? You think your friend can make these changes? Absolutely. She, you can do anything, Sandy. Help her get help her a in bit? the in All the way. I'm with you. Several of my audience are going home with a copy of Nicole's new book, Rich Rhymes with Itch. Rich something that rhymes with itch. Okay, thank you. We'll be right back. A daytime television event. Six years in the making. Emmy Award winning Dr. Oz celebrates his 1,000th show with the biggest moments, the biggest surprises.